Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fans here. So after a long time, we are making a video on our uh, Redmi Note 12 4G. So I have been uh, waiting for some good uh, custom ROMs for this one, and uh, finally it is happening. So currently, uh, this one uh, is in the HyperOS 2.0. We have made a dedicated video on revisiting it after an uh, uh, what uh, year or something. So let me just uh, share my screen. So in here we have this uh, Redmi Note 12 uh, 4G. Uh, NFC community. So here we have uh, multiple ROMs. So uh, currently we have Arizan 5.2. So uh, this one uh, is from uh, the uh, Class Rexna Rexan Rexan. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. So this is for both uh, Topaz and Topaz and uh, Tapas with the G apps included. So here you have the download link and you have the installation guide in here. So I will be following this installation guide to install this ROM. Before that, the prerequisite is to have the unlocked bootloader so i have already unlocked the bootloader and uh, there you have the uh, screenshots here so which looks uh, good in my opinion i believe you have the uh, customizations as well so this is great this is the first time i am using arizan i believe and then uh, uh, you need uh, you have the uh, uh, latest security patch which is the april uh, 2025 so you need a uh, uh, firmware of uh, 2090 if you are having topaz and if you are having dnvs and topaz you need uh, 2011 so uh, both the links i will leave it in the uh, description you can go ahead and download a firmware and then flash that uh, firmware and uh, you can use it so i already have the firmware and all the files downloaded here you can see uh, um, i have the adb fastboot tool and then i have the latest uh, official orange fox recovery and then i have the uh, firmware file of uh, uh, 2.0.11 and then i have the horizon uh, uh, os and then uh, it's the same uh, this one okay so here I have all the method, uh, methods which I have to, which I supposed to follow. So first thing is I will just uh, turn this off. Okay. So let me turn this off. Okay. Once it is properly turned off, I can just uh, uh, click volume down and power to boot into the fast boot. Okay. So once you are in the fast boot, just uh, connect the cable right here and here. Right, so uh, I have the ADB fastboot tool in here and open the platform tool. Once you open in here, uh, select a CMD. So we are uh, we have the CMD opened in here. So here you can use all the commands. So I'll go back uh, again to this folder. Here I have Orange Fox recovery. This is actually a zip file. You have to what extract it. Okay, once it is extracted, you have uh, install file, magisk boot, and then the uh, recovery. So this recovery image is what we need. So for that, I will open and do uh, first fast boot uh, devices. Okay. So the device is connected in fast boot. So after that, fast boot uh, flash, flash recovery. Okay. So you can't boot it to the fast boot directly. You have to flash it and then you have to reboot to recovery. Right, so I have it in here. I will boot flash, uh, fast boot, flash, reboot, and then I will put the image and then do it. So if you mistakenly uh, do it, have a backup of a boot image and just boot it to the normal boot image, and then you can it will work. So once you have it in here, uh, once it is flashed, you can do a fast boot, reboot, recovery. Right. So this method you can use. Now it will suppose to reboot to the recovery. Yeah. Now it is booted into Orange Fox recovery. Okay. So now we are in the Orange Fox recovery. For as soon as you get into the Orange Fox recovery, just to try to flash it. So I will go here and go ADB side load. Uh, and I can, uh, I don't know. Like I can uh, Dalvik uh, flash and this one. And uh, yeah. So first uh, I do this one. Now here if I type uh, ADB uh, devices, just taking some time. Right, so it is in now side load method. So I can do ADB side load and then you need to drag and drop uh, this uh, zip file, okay? Not the extracted one. You have to uh, drag and drop this zip file of Orange Fox. So it will just get uh, installed in both uh, places. So it is serving. Usually it will serve uh, till uh, 47 percentage. So yeah. Okay, it is automatically rebooting to recovery. So now uh, next step, uh, we have the 
uh, recovery uh, we need to wipe metadata cache and do format data so this is important so before even you do this make sure that this will uh, format your data so be pay, uh, be cautious and do backup of your data and then try to do these things okay so now i'll go to uh, data uh, here and then i'll wipe dalvik cache and then uh, i can do just a uh, dalvik uh, cache metadata i don't have uh, yeah, metadata is here so i can uh, select this and do it okay and then i'll go format data here and type yes and then format this will format the data so be pay, be cautious right okay so now uh, we have formatter after this what we have to do is we need to flash the firmware file so for this i will enable uh, adb side load so here i go and i'll go here and uh, this option i no need to enable so wipe cache and all week i can use no no i don't want to use i already wiped it so i'll do this uh, so now i will go again and type adb side load okay and then i'll drag and drop this uh, firmware file okay here i have the firmware file of uh, this one 2.0.11 yeah so this is small file just a 60 mb so it will download uh, fast and install fast so i will flash the rom now i can flash the rom i guess so i will go here and do adb side load and i will mention this option like uh, reflash orange fox recovery and uh, this one so i will just uh, do this for this reason i have to again use uh, adb side load and then i have the horizon uh, horizon droid 5.2 here i'll do this side load so yeah, this file is almost 1.7 gb included with the g app so it is may take some time to install so just uh, let just be patient for some time so here you see that uh, this one is uh, having the ab partitioning uh, system slot so now it is flashing uh, two inactive partition which is a partition which means currently the uh, uh, active partition is b usually whenever you install a custom rom it will always install it in the inactive partition for example there are two partition a and b you are using a rom which is in a partition when you try to install it a uh, new custom rom it will always install it in the inactive partition b partition in the next reboot it will uh, change it to the b partition for example now this the currently the active partition is b it is installing it in the a partition so next when we try to reboot we have to make sure that it boots to a partition that's all simple because the rom is getting installed in the a partition also the serving will happen only till uh, 47 percentage so if it is uh, went to 47 percentage and gets failed uh, don't panic it is just normal so uh, now this is uh, installed device on super may not mount until after reboot to recovery okay so uh, right after this one uh, the recovery also should have uh, installed so we have uh, ticked that option right so i will do reboot and now the b partition is the active one so i will just uh, reboot to the uh, recovery so it will uh, reboot again with the a partition and then it will do so yeah oh my god i have to do format data again I guess I can do. Yeah, I can do it. Now also I can do it. So uh, currently uh, this one is in the uh, A partition, A slot. So this is in the A slot now. So uh, it is good that it has uh, rebooted. So I will go here and uh, format the data once again. Okay. so i will just reboot to the system this have to boot i have big hope sometime it will just stack uh, here for some okay good it is booted yeah successfully <laughs> i have made multiple uh, attempts of installing custom rom on the redmi 12 uh, note 12 4g but uh, this is the first time that uh, it just worked in the first attempt <laughs> usually the format data option i will forget or i will try to i will forget to reboot again to recovery so this kind of mistakes i will do but uh, this time it was good that uh, it just booted successfully i can just uh, remove this uh, data cable it's not at all required now
okay so uh, set up another device now i can just skip this option i will just connect to wi-fi and then i if i do so i have added my google account as well so now yeah i will just copy the data from my google account okay you have fingerprint okay i will set the fingerprint mm -hmm. i have added fingerprint as well and i'll add a phase unlock phase unlock also added now i want to use dark and navigation i want to use uh, sun Okay, so uh, we are in the Harris Android. So this is the actual uh, wallpaper. So all these applications are uh, getting installed now. So defaultly we have very, very uh, minimal apps uh, installed. So the, the camera also, we have this uh, AOSP camera in here, default one. So let me just open and uh, check this. Uh, okay, so we have the Harris lab in here. So in the Horizon lab, you have the quick setting, status bar, themes options, and this, this, this. And in miscellaneous, I want to check like application downgrade option and uh, Windows secure flag. And then uh, you can have the notification related settings, but uh, nothing is showing inside. Lock screen inside, nothing is showing. Uh, themes also, only this uh, screen of theme it is added status bar okay status bar you have a few things and quick setting you have a few things okay so Harris Android and it is 5.2 uh, supernova and it is official so uh, the security patch is the latest one April uh, 5th April 2025 build date is 18th which is last <laughs> yesterday kernel here we have 5.1 5.148 so this looks fine but uh, I don't uh, think there are much customization, uh, but uh, I will give it a try. I'll give it a try like uh, how it is uh, performing. These options are uh, not visible. I don't know whether uh, something gets uh, uh, getting downloaded in the backend due to that uh, uh, this is showing. So yeah, well, uh, let me just go through and uh, test how it is uh, happening. And based on that, we'll make a, a review video soon. So yeah, thank you for watching. Kotmato, if you want to watch previous videos of uh, Redmi Note 11, you can watch it in, uh, sorry, here. This is the Redmi Note 11 playlist. And if you want to watch after one year scenario here and subscribe to this channel here, if you have the uh, Redmi Note 11. So yeah, thank you for watching. Kotmato.